motivated and that you don't want to stick with your career over the longer term. It's just, I think what we need to do a better job is of managing different women during the different stages of their career and what challenges may be presented to them. It's, you know, sometimes it's parents, sometimes it's siblings, sometimes it's um, families, you know, family issues that, that occur. It's not just, you know, getting married and having children. So I think um, what, I, what I think we need to do a better job of is making certain that it's not just entering, but how do we, kind of, I don't want to say handhold, because that, you know, that sounds a little bit um, patronizing, but much more how do you manage people as they continue to develop throughout um, their professional um, path and, and making certain that you keep it flexible enough for them. I think we have time for one more question. Let's see one more. Let's see over there. Giving yourself a break is kind of a, a good way to look at it. I think the other thing too is 
again, I keep getting back to what is your natural sort of set point style, etc. Um, a, a very good friend gave me some, some good advice recently, which was, he said, look, investment banking, you're kind of focused to, what do I have to do to get through the day? Okay, you've got, what are the kids' activities on the weekend? You, you sort of go through the motions, and actually to stop and say, what am I really enjoying out of this? He said, Teresa, you need to sit down once a week for half an hour and just think. And I thought, oh, God, that sounds really intellectual. <laughs> um, but it's true. And that will help everything in terms of, am I approaching my business the right way? You know, if you have any concerns about the children, which sometimes ends up getting um, sort of slotted to, um, you know, in your whole priority list, I think it's a, a very important to stop and have time, not just for yourself, but also to think about the way you're approaching your career and what is important to you because the aspects will change over time. Also, I think the more that you're self-reflective, you're gonna be able to address some of the issues which, you know, we all like winning. If you're at work and there's something that's going wrong, for me, it has to really knock me on the head until I actually finally deal with it. But I think your ability to kind of say, okay, what's concerning, what's positive, all of that and putting that in a priority and being kind of self-aware is quite important as well. Great, right, so that's all the time we have, but I really want to thank our amazing, fascinating woman that is here. Thank you so much a lot of issues today, particularly, you know, the challenges in the investment banking sector and how to go through some of those hurdles as a woman. But again, a lot of things also how to deal with the internal issues that women can have in managing their own careers. And uh, I think we've learned that it's definitely something that can be done. This is what is through this day and sitting here today. So I want to thank everybody. We still have a cocktail hour until, uh, you know, 8.30 each night. So